Hello there, everybody. I'm Mystery Empire. This is Let's Play Banjo Tooie Part 6. Last time we got a lot of stuff done, and importantly, we got two cheats. Our first two cheats. The first one by getting the first five Pikachuito pages and bringing them to Cheeto. And the second one by getting the um, Heggy Egg special bonus. So we have two cheats. Let's put them in. This is where you use the cheats. The area that we broke open with, um, Goliath's foot. You could also use the grenade eggs to open it up. If you just decided not to do it that way, originally. Alright. So, the first cheat is feathers. Where's the F? Oh, there it is. Now, whenever... I, uh, was using an emulator to play this game some, like, years ago. It was impossible to do this, because you have to slightly tap on the control stick to, uh, move this cursor around. Alright, so next... Now, that was the cheat that we got from Cheeto. This is the cheat that we get from Heggy. Where's the end? There it is. And then to the G. Yeah, the homing feature isn't that good, but it's better than nothing. We can use this menu to view or change the status of the cheats I have earned. All right, well, let's double our feathers and turn on the homing eggs. All right, so let's see how well these eggs home in on opponents. Oh, dear. First of all, let's just bring it down to one opponent. And they get on the other side of the room. Dude, get away from me. There we go, I'm out of his range. Okay, so let's just shoot it like that. As you can see, the homing is a fairly nice feature. It's not foolproof, but it's not too bad either. Let's check out more of our homing eggs. Let's shoot it like this. It still missed. There we go. Oh well. So there you go, a nice demonstration of what our homing eggs do. And, well, the feathers are pretty self-explanatory. So I think it's about time that we actually start up World 2. So let's get to it. Now, this world is actually one of my favorite ones, Glitter Gulch Mine. It's a lot of fun to play in. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use these speed shoes. What you want to do is you want to grab the speed shoes and then jump on this switch. In this game, using the speed shoes allows you to run on the water, which is a pretty nice effect. <laughs> This switch opens up that gate over there, but only for a limited amount of time. So we have to use our speed shoes to get over there and lickety split. Oh wait, I forgot to do one thing in the backtrack. Oh well, actually no, I forgot to do two things in the backtracking. Oh well, I'll do that stuff later. Alright, going in here. Um, now that we've been in there one time, uh, we never have to do that ever again. It'll stay open, well, forever. And we get our first Jiggy in this area. So let's see, the first thing that I'd like to do now... Oh, well, I guess this is more like the second thing. 
there's this maze of water tunnels. Um, this is the reason why I wanted to go to Spiral Mountain. Because now I have extra air and faster swimming. Which will allow me to navigate this area much easier. Let's see here, I took a left. Uh, let's see here, let's take another left. There's a jiggy somewhere in here. Nope. Okay, so my original exit is to the right. This way... Um... This is another exit to the area. Okay, so my original exit is to the left now. Okay. Ah, here it is. Alright, that's the jiggy of this area. Not too hard to get. I do recommend having uh, Roy Stein's extra swimming ability. And this is the way that we came in. Now we see a rock with Kazooie's face on it down there. We can't do anything about that yet. That requires a move from a later world. Not even one that we have open right now. Okay, these TNT crates. Not very fun. Just gotta keep moving. Under here, I believe there's something under this water. Uh, yes, yes, the treble cleft of the world is down here. And there'll be more notes uh, in this water bin over here. Or maybe it's a Cheeto page. Oh, yeah, it's a Cheeto page. Just turn around. There we go. All right. Another four Cheeto pages. And we'll have our next cheat. Oh, and I fell. Too far. That's going to be a continuous problem throughout the game. There is one thing that we can do here. You see, this rock, it has a jiggy in it. Now, you're gonna need to do stuff with Banjo-Kazooie and Mumbo to get the jiggy out of this rock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do Banjo-Kazooie stuff first. Oh! Ow. Well, fortunately, the Crushers only take two health. But gee whiz, am I getting that two health taken away from me a lot. Now that these grinders are gone, are on, the uh, crushers stop and you'll be able to get out. Mumbo's spell in this area is levitate. So he'll be able to levitate this rock into that uh, grinder area and that'll grind the jiggy out of the rock. But we won't be doing that at yet. All right, so there's a jiggy behind that waterfall over there. But to get it, We'll need to know how to use these. It'll be a while before we can use those. At least three worlds. I need some health. Alright, now what's down this doorway? I forget. Oh, a gas chamber. Yeah. We got a Jinjo in here. There are two toxic gas caves in this area. Oh, a good empty honeycomb piece in here. Just three more before I can uh, get another health extension. And uh, that's about it. Now, something about the way oxygen works in this game. Whenever you run out of all of your oxygen, uh, you won't immediately die. You'll actually start losing health instead. So another difference between uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Now, what to do next? What to do next? Uh, I think I'll go over here. Uh, 
let's see here. The fuel storage. I don't think I can do anything in here quite yet. Well, not to help this guy anyway. Yep. As you can see, there are these rocks over here in this piece of TNT. Now you might think, oh, well, you'll use the grenade eggs to break that open, right? Well, actually, no. This is one of the cases where uh, the grenade eggs are not the solution to a problem that needs to be solved by explosions. Nor is that TNT throwing enemy. And this water has nothing in it. Okay. We'll be coming back to that later. <laughs> Up here. Up here is something... Well, kind of annoying, really. If you liked my first-person shooter styles that last time... Well, they aren't very good this time. We get a new move for our first-person shooter mode, though. Rightio! So this is our new attack. Like that. Very simple. I need regular eggs. Go. Uh, any other eggs around here? I think I could use some more fire eggs, yeah. Well, only two. I'll be good. Indeed I have! Oh my! That's no good! This is a very hard jiggy to get. Let me tell ya. I hope I can do it on my first try, but... I really doubt that'll be the case. In other news, I really like the music for this section of the game. It's very exciting, very fun, and it makes the whole section more bearable. Originally, I always thought that the timers were supposed to resemble eyes somehow. But, um, not really. Alright, I'm gonna try to get all the, uh explosives on the upper level first. That way I'll know that they're all down further. I think I was already in here, yeah. You can kind of listen for them to figure out where they are. Okay, next up. Uh, this guy, I guess. He looks good. Oh, you get out of here. Okay, don't. This piece of dynamite needs to stop. What do we have in here? More dynamite, of course. Oh, miss. And again. The beak bayonet is kind of hard to do due to the fact that, uh... You have to swing back before it actually attacks. There we go. Alright. Only seven more to go. However, it doesn't really start getting hard until there's only like a few more. Like two or three. I think I hear one this way. Yes, I do. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? Oh, ow. Dude, dude, no. Uh, how about this way? Ah. Sounds like there's more down here. Sounds like there's two. Yes, there are. 
Okay, only three more to go, and I have a minute left. Here's one. This one is kind of hidden, so you better make sure to grab that one wherever you grab those two. <sighs> okay. Two left. I hear one. There's one in a hallway, nonetheless. <laughs> there it is! There's the last one! I can't believe it! I did it! Well, if I can hit it... In 40 seconds... There we go. Sounds good to me. Oh boy, I was worried that I was going to have to like do this a bunch of times and cut stuff out and do all sorts of crazy editing stuff, but uh, no, I did it on the first try. Whew. I'm actually kind of sweating over here because that's... um. It's not an easy Jiggy to get. One of the harder ones for me. In fact, just in general, the first-person shooter sections are some of the hardest sections in the game for me. I'm not good at first-person shooters. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Get some other stuff done. Our wonderful Jiggy. <sighs> Need to calm down. <laughs> okay, I think the next thing that I'm gonna do is um, enter a cave system that we haven't been in yet. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not saying anything. I'm just incredibly relieved. <laughs> All right, we got another warp pad here around Mumbo. Won't be going to Mumbo yet, but that'll happen soon enough. I'll just grab the Globo ahead of time. Gee whiz, grab the Globo already. There we go. This cave system. You really need to enter it this way. There are several other ways to enter it. The White Jinjo! Oh my gosh, it's the White Jinjo. Okay. So we're gonna have to bl blast open this TNT, just like the other one near the Flying Saucer guy. But we won't be able to do that quite yet. But I do need that White Jinjo. Can't believe I already found the white Jinjo in the game. Alright. Breaking open this rock. Now then, this building over here. Alright, so you see, down here, we have a really dark room. And over there is a Jiggy. Let's just give you a sense of what the dark room is like. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of hard to move around, because the pathway is all windy and turny, and you can't exactly see what you're doing. Normally what you're supposed to use, you're supposed to use the split-up pads. Banjo will stand on this switch up here. The lights will turn on, you'll be able to see what you're doing, and then you'll use Kazooie to get that Jiggy down there, while Banjo stands up here. Because as you can see, when you stand off of it, the lights immediately all turn out. However, I'm gonna try to do this in a little bit of a sequence-breaking manner. Yeah. It's not gonna be easy, that's for sure, but I'm gonna use my fire eggs to, um, kind of sequence-break here. Okay. Where that goes. Alright, so this is gonna go this way. Whoa, I am near the edge. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's how this goes. This is not easy. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I did it. I just sequence breaked. Now I just have to make sure that I can get back. After that, I think I'll be ending the video. Fortunately, um, I don't use fire eggs a whole lot, so I had quite a few to start out with. I believe it's this way next? Yes. Is it this way now? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see that again. Okay. Like a boss. Believe it's this way, yes. What next? Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, that's the end! I made it to there and back, without having to uh, use a move from a future world. Well, folks, with that, I believe that's the end of this episode. Until next time, folks, be sufficiently awesome. <laughs>